All right, so welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how do we go ahead and import a previous course into a new one. So this is something that you may want to do when you have done all this work from the previous year and now you're starting a brand new year. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So let's go ahead and see what we have in front of us. Right now in front of us, we got my dashboard. I got my current year's course. And this course is not yet done because uh, we're almost done with the school year. So it's not quite archived yet. We'll go ahead and try to take a previous course that it's already been archived by the county. And we're going to import it into a brand new course. Now, what I have here is a practice course, and this practice course is basically a blank course. It is completely empty, no modules, no pages, no quizzes, no assignments. There's nothing in here, just like you would see when you start off a brand new year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some things in here. I don't want to redo everything. I'm just going to take what I did from a previous year and put it directly in here. Now you do want to know which course you're going to select and import. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our courses. I'm going to go ahead and click on courses right over here on the left. We'll go ahead and select all courses and you want to identify which course you want to import. Now you have a lot of courses, some that you have done as a student and others you have done as the teacher. These ones that are highlighted in terms of the star, those are the ones that are appearing on your dashboard. So if you do want to find a previous course and put it into your dashboard, you could go ahead and search in these past enrollments, look for that course, and then go ahead and put it within your dashboard by clicking on that star. So I'm going to go ahead and take this archive course back in 2019 and 2020. This is my honors geometry B, and this is my fourth quarter course, which has all of my imported items from the entire year. And again, if I want to see this on my dashboard, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. So let's go ahead and click on that star. Let's go to our dashboard, see where it is. And we can find that right over here. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and reload this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on reload and we should be able to find that course. And here it is. So this is my honors geometry B. This was the 2019, 2020 archive. If I go ahead and open it, it looks like this. So this is what I want to import into my brand new course, which is my practice course. We got some assignments and within these assignments, I got some due dates, which I am going to remove because obviously I'm gonna have them due on a different date. Uh, we could go ahead and see that I have them within our modules. I got some quizzes here. So I wanna move all of this into our blank course. I'm gonna go back into our dashboard. We're gonna go into that blank course here. This is my practice course. Again, this is blank. And we're gonna take all of that geometry stuff that we had in 2019, 2020, we're gonna move it in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. One of the most common mistakes that people do, or actually you could do it, it's not necessarily a mistake. A lot of people go ahead and export their course into the commons, and then they go ahead and re-import it back from the commons into their current course. You don't need to do that. We could skip all of that. We could just go ahead and import an existing course. So we're gonna go ahead and import our existing content, Right here in our drop down menu, we're going to copy a Canvas course. So we'll go ahead and select that first one. And we need to know again which one we want to go ahead and import. And the one that I wanted to import was that honors geometry. So I'm just going to type in honors here. I'm going to look for my honors uh, geometry B. Obviously, we have all of these previous ones. Make sure you know which one you're going to select. So here we got a lot of different 2019, 2020s honors geometry B. This is the quarter two. But remember, I said I wanted that quarter four. So I'm looking for that, that course that I want. Make sure you know which one you want to import. So I found the one that I wanted right over here. It's quarter four, honors geometry B. It is 2019, 2020. It's the archive course. So I'm going to go ahead and select on this. And if you don't see it, make sure this is checked off. Make sure you're including all your completed courses. If you don't check that off, you might not be able to find that course. All right, I am going to go ahead and select all of my content. I want to bring everything in. That also includes your announcements as well. So be aware of that. Now, if you don't want to include everything, you don't want to include all your announcements, you could go ahead and select on specific content. So that's an option that you may want to do. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and I click on select specific content here. 
because uh, again, I don't want all of my announcements from before. I'm, I'm going to make new announcements as we start off the new year. Uh, we can adjust the due dates. You can go ahead and shift the due dates according to your new school year, or you can just remove all of the due dates. Now, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to re-enter in the due dates as we move on throughout the entire year. And that way, uh, you know, if something happens, snow day or whatever, um, I can adjust those, date, those dates accordingly uh, on my own needs. So I'm going to go ahead and import this. Again, I'm selecting specific content here. So if I go ahead and click on import, it's not going to import it right away because it's waiting for you to select what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I am going to import all of my course settings. I can import my syllabus uh, body. Now, if you want to go ahead and import some of your modules, not all of them, you can go ahead and drop down, uh, click on this drop down and select which modules you want to import. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to do all of my assignments, all of my quizzes, all of my question banks, all of my pages but I'm not gonna include my announcements. And again, you also wanna include your files. Otherwise you might have some errors because well, when you create these assignments, you had to go ahead and download some files for some of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and include all of my files. Once I've selected it, I'm gonna click on select and then it starts to queue. And once it queues, it's going to run and copy everything in. So it's going to go ahead and try to copy all of those files, all of those pages, all of those quizzes, assignments, all those modules that you selected. And it's going to go ahead and bring it into this new course. So this might take a little bit of time, give it a couple of minutes or so. And eventually you'll get all of that imported information into your course. Now you might run into a few issues, especially if you went ahead and removed the due dates and and you uh, went ahead and, and synced all of your assignments from last year into your grade book, where you're gonna see some issues. And uh, obviously we can see that right over here. So we got 14 issues here and notice what the issues are. It can't sync it because we don't have a due date. Obviously we took away those due dates. So we have all these issues. That's okay, ignore the issues. Let's go ahead and get into our course. You could go ahead and click on home and we could see this is the course that we wanted to import. We have all of our modules. If I click on my module, we have our modules along with all of the assignments and the quizzes. And notice all the assignments and quizzes, they don't have any due dates on here. So if I go under my assignment category, I don't have any due dates. And the reason why is because we removed them. So you can always go into one of your assignments and then you can go ahead and add in a due date by clicking on edit. And you can go ahead and put in those due dates. So we could go ahead and click on edit and add in your new due date if you like. Uh, but again, you could have shifted everything in the beginning if that's something that you wanted to do. So again, I have my assignments. I have my quizzes, everything's here. I got my modules, I got my, uh, my original content from the beginning, my course content, I got my pictures, everything's here. The only thing that I did not include were my uh, announcements. So obviously I don't have any announcements in here. All right, so that's how you go ahead and import. Now let's say that you imported the wrong course and you need to start all over. Well, you could go ahead and start all over by clicking on settings down here at the bottom left-hand corner. So we'll go ahead and click on settings. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this course. You can find that right over here on the right. And that's gonna go ahead and get you started on a blank slate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this. It's asking, are you sure you wanna do this? Yeah, I do want to. So I'm gonna click on this red button and it's going to reset the course and if I go back home, it is completely empty. All right, so that's how you import your course from a previous year. You can import it from last year or any other previous year uh, that you may have done in the past. All right, so that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. I hope you guys, you have a wonderful year. Good luck, enjoy, and have fun.